I'm Jennifer Angel and this is my monthly overview, just a brief overview for Aries in August 2013. Okay, so when I look at your personal life, Aries, so you have a new moon in your solar fifth house. Now this is very good for love. So in the fifth house is where love affairs can start. So um, you also have Mars is going to enter your fifth house on the 28th. So right around this time, or all this month is like the vibration of passion, romance, and a possibility of just connecting with someone that can just cross over your path. But of course, when it's to do with love, you want to always be open to it. I mean, love can pass you by just because it's in your solar chart and it comes through. Love can pass you by if you're not ready for it. And that's okay too, Aries. So, you know, there's a lot going on in your chart at the moment. So, you know, if love is not uh, highest on your priority list, uh, and perhaps that you're dealing more with the family or work, then you know that's okay. It's not love happens when the time is right. But of course, if you're looking for love, then it's one of the times in the year when love can cross your path. So you want to be just sort of open to it, and that means, you know. Do your love list and get in your mind of what it is that you want in your life. What type of person, what situation. Look at the seven areas of your life. Uh, family, uh, career, business, spirituality, uh, social and social connections, and uh, charity and giving back, and intellectual. So I'm not sure whether that's seven, but you want to look at, and spirituality, of course. So look at each area of your life and just work out what type of person or situation, how do you visualize visualize your life being with someone. Of course there's always an area of compromise as well. I like to look at it in three parts that you must have areas that you are not negotiable and of course you know we're all individuals so areas that that you need to compromise on. If we never compromised on anything we'd never grow so uh, you don't want life to be so uh, you know, where there's no compromise or no level of uh, discussion or no difference because if we were all the same, then we would never grow. So a point of difference is a good thing. It allows you to question your own beliefs because we're always changing forever, uh, learning, growing and changing and that's the journey of life. So you want somebody who's going to keep life interesting as well. Now Venus and Mars are going to sextile in your second, uh, on the second in your area of home and work. So right early in the month, when Venus and Mars get together, it's like with when it's love, it's like the yin, yin and the yang of love. You know, remember that book where men are from Mars, women are from Venus, or however the title goes, and this is where it comes from because Venus is like the romantic. Uh, love energy and Mars is the passionate energy so together they really make that electric connection okay so this sextile is like an opportunity you can and going back to you know what I was just saying about this is a time when you can meet somebody so it's in your area of that's going to um, have an influence on your work and your home. So there's, if you're making changes in one area at the moment because of all the activity that's been going on in the cardinal signs, it's almost like you make a change in one area and then it has an effect on another area. So uh, it's like uh, everything can start to fall into place and you'll know when it does, Aries. You, you'll feel it. Okay, so there's a need to be somewhat patient as well which is not always your greatest uh, virtue but you know life is like a chess game remember you know one person has to make one action and then you come in it's like a negotiation and you you have the next move and then they have a move you have the next move so it's I like to call it the chess game of life but it's it's the negotiation of life so certainly around your personal life um, there's opportunities to 
to to grow there's opportunities to grow within a relationship there's opportunities to meet somebody this this month so stay tuned there okay let's have a look at your more business area um, <clears throat> so communications of work can continue or you can start new discussions up so certainly there seems to be some activity and movement happening around your work life um, and there's certainly activity around your home and work as I was saying that seems to be still combined uh, this you know this month and certainly with the right at the start of the month Aries which is your ruling planet is squaring um, uh, Uranus and Uranus is in your sign now a square is a challenging aspect and when it's with two planets strong energy planets like Uranus and Mars it can be um, a little confronting. Now Mars of course it can get you to be impulsive or the energy of Mars is impulsive so you want to be careful here Mars is sitting in your uh, fourth house all around your home and domestic area of life and Uranus of course is in your sign so you want to be careful that you don't be too impulsive think things through be careful of what you say because right early in the month um, to, there's Mercury still in your around your family area sitting there with the Mars energy until the 9th of the month so you want to just keep that in mind that sometimes it's not what you say it's how you say it as well and as an Aries you're always fast you're always on, on the move you're trying to get things done quick and if you tell somebody uh, any half the story or you know you say it quickly because you're in a hurry it can be taken the wrong way and once it's out it's out you can't do anything about it so you want to be just mindful of that now my angel advice for you for the month is there's more to come Aries so can we come back to that word patience okay so patience and remember life is um, it's a chess game see it's a chess game of life now your, your uh, numbers the significant numbers for the month have put down for you are 2, 6, 26 and 28 and that leaves room for you to put your own couple of numbers in there as well all right have a great month thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you next month don't forget to check out to go in and listen to my weekly videos as well and uh, have a look at my website mistress of astrology dot com and of course jenniferangel.com. Love and luck to you. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.